Hi class, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I well, thanks. You? Okay, I'm pretty good today. You know, same as yesterday, I am having some internet connection issues. Por si nos falla el internet, les aviso desde ya que esperen a la teacher que ya va a regresar. Okay, there we go. Ahorita estamos trabajando con los datos. Así que es probable que pueda fallar o, o tal vez no, ¿verdad? Probably not. So let's wait for your classmates. Acuérdense, nombre completo, camera, cameras on. So we can interact each other. What time is it class? Mm -hmm. What time is it? Eight, five p.m. It's eight oh five, eight oh five. Right. What day is it today? What day is it today? Thursday. It's Thursday. Thursday what? Thursday, November 24th. 24th. Do you know about this day? Why is this day special in most of the families in United States? What do they celebrate today? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving day. Thanksgiving, right. And what is this celebration about? ¿De qué se trata Thanksgiving class? No idea. What do people celebrate? Where this celebration come from? Comes from. What can you tell me about Thanksgiving? No sabemos que celebran en Thanksgiving. No, teacher. No? Es como una acción ah, de gracias. Exactly. Creo, no. la, pa la palabra en sí lo dice Thanksgiving. ¿Qué es entonces? Thanks, ¿de qué palabra viene? En giving. Give, es un verbo. Give, given. Acción de gracias. Acción de gracias. gracias. ¿Cómo dicen acción de gracias? Thanksgiving. Thank you. Uh -huh. Así es. Eso es literal la traducción. Acción de gracias. ¿Por qué podemos agradecer? Why? ¿Por qué agradecerían ustedes ese día? For the life, for the family. Because of life, because of family. Yes, because of food, because of health, right? Because of work, even though sometimes we feel very tired, but yeah, we do. We have, um, we have work to do every day, right? So yes, this is what mostly, or most of families in United States celebrate. Es lo que celebran casi to think about family, that they have a, a place in which they can go and live, health because of businesses, because they have like this monthly income and that's it. Hay muchas cosas por que agradecer, so I just wanted to bring that on mind, que recordáramos esto y que celebramos en un mes a partir de acá. What are we going to celebrate? Christmas. Christmas, yes. Are you excited because of that? Or no? Yes. Yes, it's exciting. Yes, right? Yes. Tenemos algún Grinch, guys. I don't like Christmas. Not right. I guess we really love that, right? Cuando tenemos familia con quien compartir es, creamos una celebración muy, muy bonita. Muy bonita. So Christmas, we are about to reach. Christmas. Veamos, ahora vamos a, primero vamos a ir a la plataforma, because I haven't checked the platform, 
the exercises that we have here. No sé cómo estamos con la plataforma. Remember, today is Thursday, and we are supposed to have section number midterm exam. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma, clase? We already Teacher. have. Yes. Midterm. Teacher. Tell me, I'm tengo una, tengo una duda en el midterm. En, en la sección D, number two. Okay, okay. Porque ya, bueno, la estructura de la oración considero que está correcta. Incluso la inicial la puse en mayúscula, pero vale. no, no sé cuál sea el error porque ninguna de las formas me la, me la reconoce. Vale, voy a ir anotando ahorita en el midterm exam, porque así voy a revisar los que tenemos en la section number three para hacer como un repaso de lo que hemos visto esta semana. And after that, we are going to move on to the midterm exam. Right, so, ¿cuál sería el? Del midterm, letter D, o letter B. Which one did you mention? ¿Cuál me mencionó? B? Uh -huh. Francisco, ¿cuál era? No, no, no. Bueno, vamos a ir entonces uno por uno. Ya no escuché nuevamente. Perdón que no, no recuerdo cuál me dijeron. Vámonos a la section number three. Ok, what do we have in section number three? Vamos igual a trabajar en algunas actividades en grupos para que podamos desarrollar los ejercicios. You can compare. Que okay, podamos comparar porque ya los hicimos. So, I told you like two classes ago that we were going to practice about prepositions. Probably prepositions are not that difficult for some of you, but why not? We can cover this topic today. As you remember, in English, we have different type of prepositions. Hay diferentes preposiciones en inglés. Just to give you an example, we can have prepositions of place y también prepositions of time. En este caso vamos a repasar prepositions of place. ¿Para qué me ayudan las preposiciones? To indicate where a place is located. ¿Dónde está un lugar específico? Directions. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Directions. To be specific. To give like more details. So... What is the structure that we are going to use? Most of the time, of course, we are going to use there is and there are. Como el ejercicio que teníamos ayer, there is and there are. Y le combinamos las prepositions. Son estructuras que casi siempre van de la mano. Hay, no hay, singular, plural. First question, what we have here? Is there, near here, is there, near here. Y aquí me dan la descripción. Yes, there is one. It is on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue. ¿Qué será que está acá? Busquemos Elm Street. ¿A dónde está esa? Where is that? Elm Street. Can you see or is it too small? Como ven la picture? We can see. I can see what you want. You can't or can't? I can. Okay, because I Elm can't see. You can. There we go. I have here Elm Street and I have here this other avenue. So what is just right there? Que está en, esa, en ese block? On the corner, keep Plaza Hotel. Mm -hmm. On the corner. What is the name of the hotel? ¿Cómo se llama ese hotel? King, King Plaza. Mm -hmm. King Plaza. So, this is a hotel. Is there a, around here? Yes, there is one. It is next to Prince Grocery Store. Let's look for Prince's Grocery Store. Oh, it's right here, just right in the corner. Mm. 
is the bank. Y dice is next to. ¿Qué está next to? Mm -hmm. The bank. That's it. Bank. Number three. Veamos dónde está. There is one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. Parker's Drugstore. Where is Main Street? 